Today, I'll be sharing with you the formula for a successful Airbnb rental arbitrage operation. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you some insightful information that will help you determine whether or not you'll be profitable. Now, there's a lot of ways to calculate this, but today I'll be sharing a PowerPoint presentation with you all here. And I'm doing this because the economy is reopening, everything is looking really strong, and the recovery is going to be amazing for those of you who take advantage of this opportunity uh, right now. So as you all know, for the past couple of months, we've been through a very turbulent 2020. Everything has been very uncertain. I have shared a few videos throughout this time and I've gone through my performance considering the fact that we reduced the race by 50%, we were actually able to maintain uh, close to 100% occupancy throughout most of these COVID pandemic months. And because of this, uh, you know, this really enforces the business model for me, but what I really wanna to get to here is there is a formula on how you can determine a profitable location in a profitable market. Things are looking up and I want to give you a sense of positive affirmation and I really wanna help you guys with as much value as I can on my channel. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers and I'm, I'm really grateful for each and every one of you who have subscribed and have you know kept up with me along the way. My channel is mainly about building systems that work for you and I'm gonna go through and explore anything that comes up in my life. I will just share it with you on my channel so you will see and have a tangible model that you can look at and see that's working for me and in turn maybe take that risk and take that leap of faith to do something like this for yourself. So everything I've accomplished and everything I've done in my life, I've been able to attain and achieve through taking risks and these risks have to be calculated. So therefore, I'll be sharing a formula for a successful arbitrage operation. Now, arbitrage is a classic form of making profit in a market where there is let's say a gap between the exchange of goods or the exchange of services. If you can find a successful market or a successful opportunity where arbitrage exists, you will always make money. I'll be sharing the formula for successful Airbnb arbitrage. Now, once again, I already went through the concept of what arbitrage is. You're simply finding a gap in the market where you can make a profit. And in this, formula, you can calculate the exact number and I will go through examples of my own market here so you guys can get an understanding of what I'm talking about. But this ultimately is all you need to really calculate your numbers and calculate your profitability ratio. So to get started, the first thing you have to do is you have to calculate the average weighted rate. So by calculating this average weighted rate for your market, you can get a general idea of how you can make a profit and where you can make a profit. And to obtain this formula, you have to find the average daily rental rates for every single uh, listing in your market on weekdays and weekends. And you can get this information directly from Airbnb's listings and I'll show you just how uh, later on in this video. Just search comparable properties to your own property. So if you have a two bedroom, one bath, just find similar two bedroom, one bathroom listings in your market and use that as a model. And you can calculate this by getting a spreadsheet going and keeping everything organized. And this will make everything easier for you. Uh, it's pretty simple. Once you look at your market, you know, there's various tools that you can use to assess this. Uh, just find out how many two bedroom, one baths or one bedroom, one baths in your market. And you can determine this. You can determine the way you want to go about this by, uh, let's say, you know, if the, if there's more two bedrooms in your market, you might want to go with one bedrooms because that's like an untapped territory and you can possibly make more money that way. So here's the formula to calculate the weighted average Airbnb rate for all the properties in your market. The equation is the weighted average Airbnb rate equals the weekday average Airbnb rate times five plus weekend average Airbnb rate times two divided by seven. So for, for example, if the weekday average Airbnb rate is $50 and the weekend average is $100, the weighted average is $64 because 50 times five plus 100 times two divided by seven is $64. Next, you're gonna to wanna to calculate the cost of your property expenses by day. Now you'll take the total monthly property cost and divide it by 30 to obtain the total cost of your property expenses. And this is pretty simple. If your total property costs, including the rent and any fees are 2000 a month, then your cost, then the cost of your property expenses is $67. So you take 2000 divided by uh, 30 and that'll give you $67. And this cost fluctuates depending on where you're at. 
2,000 a month is a fair number. The cost of your property expenses are pretty simple to calculate. Now, this is gonna include your utilities, your internet, your rent, and any other costs that you may have additional to the rent. And the reason you wanna find this number out is because you know what it's gonna cost you every single day that you are leasing this property. You know it's gonna cost you out of pocket to lease the property. So if your total cost is 2,000 a month and you divide that by 30, then you get $67 and I myself operate uh, within a pretty wide range of you know my average property expenses. I have properties that cost me like $30 a day uh, up to let's say $50 or $60 a day uh, depending on the market. You know I have properties in Kansas City, I have properties in Springfield. So my Springfield units have a really low cost which is what has honestly kept us profitable through the pandemic. So figuring this number out is very important and you want to know this because this will help you determine how to maintain profitability. Now you're going to want to divide the weighted average Airbnb rate by your daily property cost. So by dividing the weighted average rate by your daily property costs, you'll get a final ratio. This will help you determine how many days per month you'll need to rent out the property in order to remain profitable. So for the example that we've used in this demonstration, the final ratio is 64 divided by 67. That gives you a 0.95 final ratio. This means that you'll have to rent out your property for the majority of the month to, in order to turn a profit. What this really shows you is that you will want to most likely have a lower operating cost in order to maintain profitability through any type of situation, through slow season, through any type of event that may come up, such as a pandemic or anything that is unforeseen. You wanna make sure that you have enough room to make a sustainable profit. So if the ratio equals one or greater, then that means you can turn a profit by renting out fewer days of the month. So in this example, the final ratio was 0.95, but if you could get a, a final ratio that's, that's one or higher, that means you can turn a profit by renting out fewer days of the month, which is what I was saying earlier. I like to rent out my property and make sure that I get, I get all my expenses covered within 15 nights of the month. So let's say the weighted average Airbnb rate is actually $125 and your property expense by day is still 67. That means that your final ratio is 1.87, 125 divided by 67. And that means you'll be able to turn a profit in less than a month. Ideally, you wanna do arbitrage with a property that has a final ratio of two or higher. By aiming for the final ratio, you'll have some leeway and that way you can ensure that you at least break even on your property every single month. So what I have pulled up for you here is my total rent amount for seven of my units. Now you guys know that I have two Airbnb hosting accounts and they're split up differently because one of them is a personal brand. And right here, my as you can see, my total rent on a monthly basis for these seven is 5,183. And this is due to the fact that I have really low rents. This is something that I, I made sure to do from the beginning and I wanted to ensure that you know, I have really low costs and this will definitely help with profitability moving forward. Now with that said, I will show you an example of my property, or one of my properties in Springfield, and this will help you, you know, kind of visualize what I went through that and that will help you understand that weighted average Airbnb arbitrage potential a little bit better. So my rent on this property is 595 a month. Let's just round that up to 600. Uh, the cost for this property is super low, which is amazing. And we're just gonna go with the Airbnb average in our market. So the average market median rate in Springfield through the pandemic is $59 a month as you see here. And we'll let's go back to my cost to lease this property. This is my lowest cost unit. My total expenses for this unit is $595 a month. The property manager company taking care of the utilities and the trash service. All we do is split the internet between three units, so it's not much. And as you can see here, my final ratio for profitability is 3.1, which is insanely high for like the profit margins that I can make on this property. And what you guys have to do here is just calculate this. And a great way to just find the average nightly rate for Airbnb is just go to um, the, you know, once you actually have a hosting account set up, you can actually find the market median pretty easily here. Now this is the market median through a pandemic and obviously this rate will go up. This I think has been like 124 um, in the past year, like in 2019, this is like 124, the market median. Uh, obviously everyone dropped their rates because of the pandemic, uh, but that's about it. And, and if you guys want to just use this formula to calculate your profitability and I hope you 
got a lot of value from this video. At the end of the day, doing your due diligence, doing your research is very important when it comes to business and when it comes to investing your money. And therefore, you have all the tools at your disposal to take advantage of any opportunity that exists out there. Honestly, you guys, there's so many ways to make money online. There's so many ways to make money independent from an employer and from a boss and from a job. And that's what I want to share with you on my channel. And I'm really excited to see a lot of you take this leap and make this step in changing your life. So thank you guys once again for 10,000 subscribers. This is a huge milestone for me and I'm grateful that you guys have stuck around for this long. And I will be doing a live webinar um, Wednesday, I believe. So today's Monday, I'll be doing a live webinar on the 10th at 3 p.m. I will drop a link for that in the description of this video if you guys wanna check it out. And don't forget to check out STR Accelerator. This is the most comprehensive Airbnb guide that you can spend money on and invest money into uh, in 2020. This is a very fresh, relevant, up-to-date uh, guide and I really think it would be helpful for a lot of you who are looking for a more structured way in approaching this and you're not really uh, having to deal with all of the extensive research that goes into making this work for you. Uh, with that being said, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video to boost it on the YouTube algorithm and I will see you guys in the next video.